The program actually began in 1997 when a group of students on their own decided, heard about this competition and decided on their own that they wanted to enter a car from UNM. So it was, uh, you know, somewhere between five and ten students uh, whose names probably are lost now. Uh, built the car according to the rules, all on their own, with very little department support, and went to the competition. Dave Thompson had looked at the program and called me in and about midway through the 1998 uh, uh, group that was doing also on their own. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, these guys need help. And there were only five of them. And I think that actually three of them were mechanical engineering students. One was a, uh, a helper, there was a part-time student, and one of them was actually a biology major. Dave asked me if I wanted to do it. I said, hey, it sounds interesting. And took on the program then, and we decided to organize it before the next competition. I'm not so much... Uh, not so sure how, how the students like that. All of a sudden they were on their own and all of a sudden now they've got a faculty member over them. Uh, but still there was no formal course associated with it. I put a course together for 2000. 98 there wasn't one. With no team in 99 there wasn't one. In 2000 put a course together uh, it was like the blind leading the blind. Uh, I was learning it one lesson ahead of them, kind of thing with the course. Uh, and we put together a car, and uh, that was our first sort of really UNM sponsored, coursework oriented uh, uh, team. Uh, you look, a year isn't much time to build a car. How do you get started and finish a car in a year? And so I stepped back and thought about it and said, how can you build a course around this? And 2003 was the last of the one semester courses. 2004 started the first one where there was continuity. And that's when we built the three course sequence of academic race car design in the spring and a tenure group. And this, this, this course is built on the premise of Yes, race cars are fun and all that, but it's built around systems engineering. How well can you put together different kinds of cars? The car that spun out ahead of them. <laughs> Every part of mechanical engineering, and it has a lot of electrical engineering, a lot of chemical engineering in it also. But uh, how can you integrate that all into a vehicle? Systems engineering. Uh, teaches project management. How can you get from the day you started to having a car fielded? The three semester uh, course sequence at, at UNM is unique. There's not another school in the country who does it for course credit over three semesters. There are two or three other schools that will that will have separate vehicle dynamics courses, but they will be passenger car oriented, not race car oriented. And they will perhaps give the students senior design credit for doing this, but it will not be a formal sequence like we have. Yeah, I thought I heard 51 as well. So how does it work on the scoring? Do you pick the best times or average or best of each? Best times oh, in a cone. Did he really? He did. Are you serious? What? Did you say that? So we are unique in that sense. Uh, I think that the, the organizers at the Society of Automotive Engineers uh, would like that to happen, mm -hmm. but it's very difficult to get to get it put in a curriculum. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got to feel really good at what we did here at UNM. Uh, in getting it in the curriculum. Uh, it, it, it is hard to do. We've spread sort of the, the gospel out there in that students from UNM have gone to other schools and started programs. Uh, UNM is responsible for starting the program at Stanford. 
Mm. Well, so you know, you'd think it'd go the other way, but no, we did it. Right. Uh, we helped start the program at Arizona State. Uh, they called here and we talked to them on how to do it. Uh, a student from the 2004 team is the TA for the University of Washington team. I have no idea how the, the European and or Japanese or other foreign teams operate. Uh, most of them seem much more associated with an industrial sponsor than we do. So you've got together the design, how well did you do on the engineering portion, the cost in manufacturing, how, how well did you do on building it and keeping it at a reasonable cost, and then the last one is the presentation. The first one is the design uh, competition. Uh, the first thing you're do, required is to send in a design report. Last year we won the Autodesk, which is a CAD companies uh, third place award for design reports. You, you take a car and go in front of four or five judges who then ask questions about your design. The judges will generally divide up according to subsystems of the car. Mm -hmm. There will be a judge who knows a lot about brakes and he will talk specifically mm -hmm. to your brake designer. Mm -hmm. and. Another one who knows suspension will talk to your suspension designer. You hope that you get a judge who is very knowledgeable yeah. in the area. Yeah. So he can ask relevant questions that bring out your design. Right. You have to document the cost of the vehicle. Everything. Mm -hmm. Every nut and bolt on it. Mm -hmm. It's a huge document to, to document the cost and the labor that goes into everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the judges generally there on the cost are after accuracy, did you cost it correctly, and did you include everything? Mm -hmm. The actual cost of the vehicle has to be under $25,000 as calculated. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Then there is a manufacturing where they, they ask, actually go around and see how you built parts. Mm -hmm. uh, in the manufacturing also it has a little uh, interesting part where they give you 20 parts that are found commonly on a car. Mm -hmm. They give you the list and out of those 20 they will ask you in detail how two are made. Mm. This goes back to the, the, to the uh, reason you're building the car that, that, that the Formula SAE competition requires. That, that your goal is to build a car with, under a set of, of, of rules that you would sell to a weekend racer and you want to produce a thousand a year. That is the goal. You're, you're, that is your customer. And so in the marketing presentation, now you are the designer of the vehicle. And what you're trying to do is market and sell it to a, per, to a group who will manufacture it and build it and sell it. Mm. You're looking essentially at a turnkey operation. Here's what we'll give you, Mr. Buyer, this building mm -hmm. with these people, and they'll start producing cars for you. You're really selling to an investor. Okay.